of all, um, before I start talking about anything today, I uh, want to thank all of you uh, for your presentation and make it great. Um, so, thank you. So, yeah, uh, you know what we are going to be talking about today, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but what? Sex has a prize. Yeah, success has a prize. Do you believe in that? <laughs> Do you believe? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cool. Jens? Like? <laughs> well, no. Um, so, many people uh, think and believe that um, success is achieved by just a lake or chance um, or something like that. Maybe uh, some others. Um, just think that just by magical or just positive that we can um, we can do what we want. Um, well, yeah, it's important to, to have posi uh, positively things, but it's not really very sufficient. Yeah, it's not really very sufficient. Um, so we need to provide and uh, move to actions. Because dreams is not sufficient. We need to move to action. Dreams is only um, um, <laughs> it's not sufficient. Yeah. Well, um, we start and we have to make decisions. Um, we have first to clean our minds from all the negative um, thoughts and. Um, we should we should know what we what we want to do, how. Because when we want to do something, we are going to work for it. Um, we are going to work for it, and uh, well, um, <laughs> so. Thinks that when we, when um, yeah, people think that, and or people afraid to don't to don't get what, what they want from the first step. But I want to tell them that fight, fighting and uh, fighting in and um, don't get what we want uh, from the first time is. It's not necessary to go where we want the first time. The secret of life is to fall seven, seven times and to get up the eight times. So if, if we want to get something, we need a very hard work to get what we want. And th thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Stand up, stand up. Uh, Some problems uh, getting into the, uh, the speech, all right? And I question, all right? <laughs> Are you satisfied with your performance? Yeah. You are. Okay. Thank you. That's my question. Why have you chosen this topic, and what do you think? Now, can you summarize in two words what is well? First, I would like to know why you have chosen this topic, and can you summarize in one sentence your message? What do you want to say exactly? Uh, well, it's not me who chose the, this topic. Okay, yeah, but can you um, summarize what you have just said or developed to, uh, in your speech in one or two sentences quickly um, to get the gist of what you want to Tell to the to, to the audience. Well, I want to say that every quote has a slide of Um It's not really very easy to get what we want. <coughs> Just <coughs> if we make very hard work and uh, make plans in our mind to get what we want. Would you mind repeating again the proverb you started with? No. Every cloud has a slide of line. Slide of what? What do you mean by slide? Um, what is slide? 
You mean silver? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's not easy to speak in front of an audience, and it's not easy to be the first one <laughs> to talk. So please take it easy and try to. Uh, uh, to relax and uh, see all these faces like uh, your friends, <laughs> not enemies. Mm -hmm. So our second uh, contestant is Adnan uh, Ilham. Adran. 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 Success. I bet everyone here and everyone outside wants to be successful, right? But first, let's define success. In my eyes, success cannot be defined because it differs from each and every person. What might be considered success for me is probably, if not totally, different from what success from my friend over there or the guy at the exit door. So, as long as success differs from one person to another, it might be getting a degree job. For others, it might be getting married, having a first child, and for some, it might be winning this competition. So here, let me ask you a few questions. Are you ready for them? Yeah. Okay. I really want to know how many times have you heard stories of successful people, either in TV or on your social media? How many times have you heard that Mr. A has become a millionaire? Mrs. B has been honored for her successful career? So many times. I bet your answer is so many times. But we rarely, if never, hear or be told about the price these people had to pay. We rarely, if never, heard about backstage scenarios, the sacrifices which are very important. For instance, Oprah. You know Oprah? Yes. Yeah. Oprah Winfrey had to give up on her good job and move to a racist city to start her own career. She was discriminated for being a Negro American woman, for being a woman, but look at her now. She has become one of the most successful people in the world with her show, I bet you know it, the Oprah Winfrey Show. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs had to work in a garage to build a company with an income more, more bigger than the income of the United States. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was suffering from shyness. Uh, he was not popular in college. He was not kind of the Mr. Handsome Boy. But look at him now. He had built a company or a network that connects every day over than four billion people in the world. See, everyone who had ever achieved success had a price to pay. But here the good question to ask is, what is that price? How can we know the price we need to pay? It's not actually that hard. Count your obstacles. Count, count your fears. The things that are keeping you from achieving what you want. In this case, it might be either people or habits. People, you might be thinking of that annoying and negative friend who always drags you down. Or perhaps habits, oversleeping, overeating, over entertaining, or lack of sleeping, lack of eating, and lack of entertaining. For me, it is oversleeping. I just want to be honest. And all those obstacles, once you think of them, write them down, and then start to erase them one by one. Stop erase, start erasing them so you can achieve whatever you want. And I tell you here, I tell you here a true thing. It's not going to be easy. You're going to experience some failure, expect some disappointments, some negative thoughts, negative people. But it will, it will be much um, easy sooner as much as you focus 
and you fix your eyes on the final destination, which is your success. And I tell you again another true thing. There is no elevator to success, as my brother always tells me. There's a staircase. Yeah, sometimes a slide. Hopefully not a slide. So I want here to conclude by a quote from my very favorite movie, The Great Debaters. Do you know it? It's great. It's a wonderful movie. And it says, we have to do what we have to do in order to do what we want to do. So I want you now to think of the thing that you want to do, which is your success. And then think of the things you have to do, which is the price. And I have a surprise for you. You, all of you, have already achieved a half point, a halfway point to achieve your success. If you don't believe me, I'll tell you how. You have first, you know, during my speech, you have thought of something that you wanted to achieve, right? The second thing, you have thought of those obstacles that you need to overcome. That's halfway. All what re the rest is, start acting. Start doing what you have to do, and I'm pretty sure you will achieve it. And for me, what I have to do is to thank you for listening. I liked your the way you developed the topic, but I have one single question. Uh, when you talk about success, I felt like while we were talking about it, I felt like you took success as an end point. Does it mean that once you get to the position you want to get to, that's success and that's all? Is it something achievable to at to a one hundred percent, or does one success just lead you to another? staircase as you described it to another floor. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I don't consider success the final point, uh, but, it is, but as I said before to Mrs. Damien, it is the journey. It, it's not, it doesn't matter if you get to uh, the summit of a mountain, but what matters is the climbing trip. But you, you said something important, which is once you achieve one success, it motivates you to get to another success. So it's never ending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Our uh, third contestant is Ashivan Shayman, Morrisville.
Nothing is offered on a silver platter. We must, we must keep trying in order to succeed. There are so many challenges in life that only hardworking people all can, achieve, can overcome them. This explains why there are very few successful people, successful people in our world today. On your way to success, you may have to give up on a group of friends who drag you down instead of lifting you up. You may have to give up on sleep. You may have to give up uh, a peace of mind in exchange of a life full of rewards and risk. You may have to give up. Uh, you may have to give up on the time you spend watching TV in order to have more time to read, study, and perfect your craft. And the most important thing is that you might you must change the way you think. If you want to succeed in an in in area of your life, you must change what you currently believe, especially if your current belief is whole system is holding you back. Most of people want to be successful, but there are, the, but there are very few people who are successful. Simple reason is, simple reason is that they, don't, they, don't, they, they aren't ready to pay the price in terms of sacrifice and leisure, sleep, and sometimes the entire, their entire comfort zone. Most people are success hungry, but too lazy, too reluctant to pay the price and blame their bad luck, which is the easiest scapegoat. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about my childhood. When I was around 10 or 11, I decided that I wanted to learn how to act. I was so obsessed about acting that I wanted to be a famous actress. Well, I expressed this desire to my parents. They thought about it, then sat me down for a talk, they were willing to send me to acting lessons on the condition that I practice every day. The choice was mine. I thought about it and decided that I didn't want really, I didn't really want to pay the price. At the time that I didn't want to take uh, acting lessons, the only price I saw was one of time and fun. As the saying goes, no matter what life, <laughs> no matter what we want from life, we must get, we must give up something in order to get it. Let's think about the life of a musician or a singer. It's easy to see the rewards, but what price do they, do they have to pay? Well, here's some things I can think of. Time. One thing is involved, and I'm sure of it, is many, many hours of practice. If they go on a tour, that large amount of time away from the comfort, or the comfort of their home, their family, their friends, relationships or sacrificed. The price of fame also includes the loss of privacy. Photographers <coughs> constantly follow celebrities and take photos of them in times when they don't necessarily want to be photographed. Last but not least, on your way to success, you will feel pain. You'll cry before you get it. You know, people will hate you for no reason. Your family will discourage you. Uh, you'll doubt yourself thousands of times you talk, you almost talk yourself out of it hundreds of times. You lose money. You sacrifice so many things, but at the end, it will all be worth it. And thank you for your attention. Oh, thank you. Um, have you thought of any while preparing uh, for this nice? Have you thought about the drawbacks of success? If any, could you please just mention one or two? The drawbacks, I mean the disadvantages of success, if there are any, of course. Uh, like I said, you, you sacrifice like so many things, like your friends, sometimes you, your own family. So this is, I think, the drawbacks. Okay. My question is, how much time you prepare for this?
Kaiba. The fourth uh, contestant is uh, Sadullah Zainab. Floor is yours. Uh, I'm glad to be here uh, with you in this moment. I would like to thank the, the, the organizer. Uh, I would like uh, also to thank the audience, even though I don't see much, but your presence is, uh, is the important, important for me. Uh, as you see, I'm shaking and I'm uh, nervous a little bit, but uh, <laughs> I'm still going. Um, so, uh, let, me, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Sana Arafir, and uh, I'm going to tell you today about a, top, about a subject, which is uh, success has a promise. Let's see. I'm going to ask some questions here. Uh, who ever, never dreamed of being successful or success? I bet everyone here and every girl, every boy here dream of success, of course. And, um, but the main question here is, who ever thought of the price that he has to pay to reach his dream or to reach his uh, pursuits? Yeah, no one, no one, uh, no one uh, thought of it. So, I think that every price or every goal we set has a price, a tag attached. So be it an uh, exam, uh, be it a business, be it, um, let me say, a life, even success, which is the topic of today, of course. Success, let me see, success, yeah. Um, success. This word is really powerful to us because it's really, it really encourages us to reach what uh, we want, what we want to pursue. Success. Yeah. And the person who has achieved success has paid the price to, uh, for admission to, to, uh, yes, to, to enter to the winner's circle of life. Let me give you an example. Um, uh, Hatim Amor. Everyone knows here Hatim Amor is a famous singer, Arabic singer, of course. Despite his <coughs> mother, with sickness yeah, of cancer, which is uh, uh, really, really disease, he, ha he had to, to come to Algeria to the festival. Despite that, he has obliged to go, which is the price to, he has to pay. He has a contract, he has to go, he has to perform to the audience, he has to, to achieve his goals, despite his mother's death. Yeah, which is really horrifying. But uh, we pray to God to his mother, of course. Let me see another example. Let me give you an example f uh, to um, Shanna, Shanna Aisha. He's a, she's a powerful uh, woman. She is no woman. She is powerful because she has cancer. And she organized an organization uh, for powerful uh, women who are, uh, who are singles to uh, encourage them to uh, to um, to let her, let uh, them see the path that he has that they had to follow that's uh, that's so and um, let's see but uh, success doesn't happen by accident of course success uh, success uh, Come from uh, come from uh, determination. Come from uh, commitment. Come from courage. Come from faith. Come from patience. Come from hard work. Risking. Come from hard work. These words are the keys. Are the path to follow to to reach uh, success or to reach uh, to reach. Uh, let me see what we dream. What we want to pursue. What we you don't know what you want. Uh, everyone here wants uh, something. Want to uh, to get married, for example, to to have the baccalaureate. Yes, I can take the time. Uh, finally, I want to thank the the lovely uh, 
the path of success or the path of failure. In other words, I would say to choose whether to pay the price of failure or the path, or sorry, or the price of uh, success. And uh, sooner or later, you will come to understand that the price of success is temporarily discomfort. However, the price of failure will be paid forever. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Jihan. Well done. Okay, uh, I see that they have been uh, rehearsing before to get preparation. Uh, well, I I quite disagree with you when you say success. I mean, you have to pay. I mean, there's a price to pay for everything. Okay, and I, I would have appreciated if you started by priorities in life for success. What do you think? I just get that 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 uh, topic from that view because I think uh, if you want to achieve something, something successful, of course, um, you need to 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 go for it, and that's my idea. Okay, thank you, Jeanne. Um, my um, well, I listened to everything you said, and I think I got the gist of what you're saying. But uh, I just want to tell. I just want to ask you a question. Um, when you're talking about success, don't you think that sometimes success can also turn into something totally the opposite and go into failure? Uh, yes, probably. Because I think, um, yes, I think uh, when we want to achieve something successful, um, and as Lombardi said, not only do you have to pay the price of success, but you need to pay even a bigger price in order to keep that success. So you need to continue. And probably when you get into something, you will feel, uh, yes, you will feel, uh, let's say, you will be not disappointed. But I think you need to, uh, to carry on and continue. Okay, a follow-up question again. Yeah. How would you really deal with adversity? Because usually when you are successful and you are reaching success, it goes without saying that you will have adversities all around. How would you deal with that? Mm. Okay, forget about it. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. Thanks. Just that goes without saying. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jian. Uh, and now uh, we can hear a voice voice. Lahma <laughs> Nordin is here. No. I'm sad the other one. No. Khaula al Jami. Achievement. I'm going to present success in the first place. 
In the second place, I will give you some ways to succeed. Okay, let's start. What's success? Success is the achievement of something desired and planned. It is the sum of a small effort repeated all the time. No matter where are you from or how old are you, but we all share something common, the desire to succeed. Okay, there are a lot of strategies to succeed, but I'm gonna give you some steps to follow. Number one, step confidence is one of the basic things you should start from it because self-trust gives you the opportunity to look for a lot of things. Self-confidence can give you the ability to apply for better things. As a consequence, self-confidence will push you to, hard to, to work very hard. So number two is hard work. First of all, hard work doesn't just come and find you. You have to go for it. And never give up when you find something is hard. But work hardly when you think of giving up. And finally, I never dream about success, but I work for it. But hard work without a purpose is like a Ferrari without steering wheel. So number three, you have to set your goals. Most of people don't have work, don't have a goal. So they don't have they don't know where they're going. However, people with aims, with goals, succeed because they know their way and they know the reason. Well, number three is to, uh, I said self-confidence, and to set your goal, uh, number three, you have to, uh, to be patient. You have to be, uh, you have to, to be patient and to wait for good things because the good things come to the ones who wait. Okay. The last step is don't be afraid of failure. When you fear, it doesn't reflect, it isn't a, freak, a reflection of you as a person, but view failure as an opportunity to think about your mistakes, to grow, to learn from your mistake, because no one is perfect. Well, to sum up, everybody look for success. But it depends on the way you choose to succeed. But I will tell you something that you have to set your goals. You have to try to be optimistic and to be self-confident. Stay on track and finally show the people that you can do it. And thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, uh, Marani. Uh, and uh, let me welcome all the students from other universities, and you are uh, one of them. Uh, well, I have noticed that studying economics, okay, also push students to learn English. Yeah, how much time again it took you to prepare for this speech? Okay, uh, to be serious with you, they just selected us uh, uh, yesterday. And I didn't have much time to prepare for it. If I had time, I will make a lot of things. I will bring many ideas. I will make really a great example. But uh, I work for it. And uh, I think that you like what I have just presented. OK. So uh, just again, one word. What is success for you? One word. In one word, I will say that success is hard work. Thank you. Um, you mentioned something which really kind of, um, I wouldn't agree with, but you can always justify that. You said that success is hard work, it's not dream. I'd like you to tell me if there is a relationship between dreams and success. Uh, I, I said that it, uh, I never dream about success. But if you like something, you will get it. Everybody 
I, we said example of uh, famous stories. If you want something, you will find a way. If you don't, you will find an excuse. And finally, success isn't a dream. If you want something, you will get it. Do you mean that you don't have the right to dream to be successful? No, absolutely no. No, we have the, the right to dream. But if you want, you want something, just work for it and you will get it. Uh, do you live by what you have just explained to us? Do you follow these rules? Uh, yes, of course, I follow. And uh, one of the the, the points uh, of uh, my success is self-confidence. Is hard work, and especially hard work is the is the way to succeed. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Busaina Bumatem. I'm a law student and I'm here today to talk to you about our theme which is success as a price. As we all know, success is something that most of us desire <coughs> and want. It's something that it's one of the main things that makes people happy and maybe satisfied about their lives. But success it's totally not easy and it's not for free. It has a price. Each one have their own definition of success, and each one have their own ways to achieve it. According to me, there are seven strategies to achieve it. First is hard work. Success requires from us to invest so much time and energy in it. You've got to give it your best. You've got to work so hard and smart and be persistent. Success is all about consistency and lots of small work. Second is self-confidence. You have to believe in yourself. You have to be confident, because you might work hard and work smart, but if you have a low self-esteem, then it's already a failure. And third, something so badly, you have to stick to a plan. Create a list of goals and break them into small tasks and put them in a schedule and stick to this schedule by discipline. Four. You may, you may. Just start from where you finish. Don't start from the beginning. Yeah. Just think. Calm down. Before you get to the criminological orders of ideas, and just, just say talk what about you want to say. Talk about it. Say whatever you still remember. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Fourth, believe in fail forward. Most of, the, most of the successful people we know have failed so many times before they've become who they are. So you gotta accept failure. It's part of your learning process. You do something, you fail in it, you learn from it, then you try again and again until you achieve your goal. That way you will develop yourself and become a stronger person by learning from your, your mistakes, learning your strong points and your weak ones. As Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I just found a 10,000 ways that won't work. So just keep trying and never give up. And five, eliminate toxic people from your life. On your journey in life, 
There will be so many people who try their best to bring you down, to make you doubt yourself. You gotta keep a good distance between you and these people. Don't listen to them. Don't give them your time, nor the satisfaction they need. You gotta do things on your own. Just believe in yourself. Stay away from these people and you will notice a big difference in your life. And five, dream big. Don't be afraid to dream. Aim for big goals. Aim for excellence. Aim to be the best at what you do. Have crazy dreams that they even scare you. As for me, for example, I dream to change the world. Because why not? As Steve Jobs once said, those who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are those who actually do. So just dream, but you need to dream and to work to realize those dreams. And these ladies and gentlemen uh, were the main strategies to success according to me. In conclusion, each one sees success from a different angle. So to be successful, you need to be unique, to do things on your own terms. Set your own values and follow them. And most importantly, don't lose yourself while searching for success. you haven't been able to smile. You know that the smile in public speaking is very important, okay? So you've been so serious and well I'd like to advise all the candidates over here to be to relax, be yourself, enjoy yourself. Uh, and I was also expecting some movement in the stage. It helps, you know, uh, it will help you think uh, better, okay? But let me congratulate you for the choice of the, of the ideas. Uh, and, um, well, I, I wanted just to comment more than give you an example. Maybe I will let my colleagues give you an example. Hi, um, Sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. You know, we have everything that we, know, we have prepared in our heads. But when we stick to this too strictly, it can destroy us in a way. So I think once you relax, we can really understand your message. And don't beat yourself up, you know? Like, it's, it's okay. Um, how long did it take you to prepare this topic? One day. One day, okay. Maybe if you took longer, you would feel more relaxed, more comfortable. But well done, it was really good. It was, it was very good. Well done. Um, Sorry? No, I lost you then. Yeah. No, you're Hello. from Law Student? Um, Butena, thank you very much. I think that you really managed to give a good presentation and I think that even the content really showed that. Um, what I want to tell you, and I think you mentioned something very important. You mentioned toxic people, right? I'll go back to that again. Um, this means that sometimes success can turns out to be something like a failure. In which cases can success be a failure for the person who achieves it? When you lose yourself. Lose yourself. When you focus on success, but you forgot other good things in life. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. So much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Umay Mabu Ali. I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk in front of you today. I'm so delighted, I'm so pleased to meet you, to share with you my ideas, and I hope you enjoy it. So Today, I just want to start with a beautiful quotation that I really like, which says that we all live under the same sky, but we don't see the same horizon, which means, ladies and gentlemen, that we are not the same. We are very different from each other. We have different ideas, opinions, and attitudes, as the same as while talking about success, we have different goals, plans, and dreams that we want to achieve. And that's why 
I'm gonna tell you that I have many friends. One, uh, a friend wanna be a singer. Another one wanna be an engineer. Another one want to have 100,000 millions in his dollars in his bank account. But the question is for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think that they are able to achieve their goals? So for me, I don't know. Because the only thing that I know is that success has a price. And ladies and gentlemen, are you willing to pay for that success? Or are you willing to pay for that price? So today, I have four prices to pay. You need to know that um, every price you need to pay, you need to believe in it. And the first price is to work hard. You know, um, we have all grown with the idea that I will pay it with my own sweat. And um, have you ever come across those books that, uh, you know, they are sold in the streets everywhere telling you that you can speak English in 10 days. You can find the perfect wife in uh, one week. You can uh, be rich in uh, two minutes. Maybe by stealing your mother's gold or stealing a bank. Maybe. But do you think that these books are useful? I don't think so because uh, I don't agree with them. They are not effective, useless, mediocre, and so stupid. So what I believe in it, I never forget, ladies and gentlemen, that determination, perseverance, and patience are the key for every success. As Will Smith, the famous actor, says, in one of his interviews talking about his success, he said that talent, talent it can come with, you know, naturally, but the skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of work. And talent can fail you if you don't dedicate yourself to a be better every single day. The second prize, ladies and gentlemen, you need to know is to be special. Please be different. And as I have already mentioned at the beginning of my speech, I've said that we are all different. And this is why we are special. We need to know that we are special. And we need to be original and not fake. You know, we need to be ourselves and not what others want us to be. So by doing so, you will see how creative you'll become. And that, that is the most important and crucial thing that will boost your self-confidence, your imagination, your personality to come up with different ideas and new masterpieces from your own discovery. Let's take, for example, a best benefit. He attempted flight. You know, maybe his back was very hurt, but at least he discovered the notion that not only birds can fly. Yes. So this, the, the third prize that you need to pay, ladies and gentlemen, is you don't give up. Is don't give up. Go for it. Face your fear and take risks. You know, we are in life and we have uh, seen many uh, successful and famous, you know, people who have changed the world. L let's take, for example, um, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein didn't speak until he was four. Didn't, um, didn't speak until he was four. Didn't um, read until he was seven. And you know, his teachers and parents thought that he was mentally handicapped. Thomas Edison, do you know Thomas Edison? Yes. You know, uh, his teachers said that he was so stupid to learn anything. And so fantastic, you know, we can, we can see, you know, clearly what these people and these famous people, what have done, what they have done. So, and uh, the last thing I just want to tell you, and which is the most important thing and that you need to focus on, is that you need to think positively. You know, I've watched a, a documentary um, called The Secret, and The Secret, was law of attraction. And this law of attraction is based on three words, that thoughts become things. So don't please forget this. Please start to feel happy, 
feel healthy every single day and feel the love that is surrounding you even if it's not there. And you know, you will see, okay, you will see that the universe will correspond to the nature of your soul. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Well, thank you so much. You gave him hard time to stop. Okay? Well. Alright, so you should know when to stop. Uh, well, thank you so much for your uh, performance uh, and enthusiasm. Okay? Uh, you gave a lot of uh, figures, successful figures. Uh, personally, who is your idol? My idol is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is my album, my example, everything. Okay, thank you so much. And, well, success, a lot of people have been successful in life. But what would you say to this generation? I mean, now we are living in a globalized world and sometimes success, uh, they are a little bit pessimistic. Yeah. Okay, so just, I mean, one idea more than, than what you have said. To say is just keep faith. Keep faith and believe in yourself and believe in your dreams and your goals. Set your goals and make them clear in your mind. And absolutely, absolutely, you will someday, you know, you will achieve it and you will um, find your accomplishment and your success. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I thought you uh, were genuine, motivated, and I liked your energy. Um, and also, you were you. I like the way that you describe success as abstract as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no question. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Umayma. That was really great. Um, well, my colleague uh, just asked you about your idol. He said uh, the Prophet Muhammad prayers upon him. Uh, I'd like you to tell me what made him so successful. Give me something like three things that made him successful. And of course, do you think that success means that you have to study or to educate yourself? Talking about is it learning, acquiring information, or education. Of course, you know the difference between the two. Yes. Thank you. The prophet be peace upon him. You know, he was patient. He was challenging those people who are trying to discourage, you know, or make a stop to his message. The, he was, you know, uh, honest. He was um, um, hardworking. He was kind to everyone. And you know, this is, I think, this is the most important thing. You know, you need to impress those people with the, those qualities because they are the most crucial thing that will make you go forward and never stop. Um, for okay, that's it's okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. To each individual. So to achieve success, we all need to know that success will not just be handed to us without being the law found by Newton. And we state that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So we can use this principle to pay the price of success. How? By understanding that we can get pleasure <coughs> without paying the price first. It's just like going to a shop owner and ask him to give us what we want from his shop without paying him first. So it's obvious that we can't have it all. So we must choose what matters most to us and own it. Because if we attempt to be everything, we end up being nothing. Internal conflict is really hell. Then we should decide if we're willing to pay the price. And here the big question remains, if we're not willing to pay the price. The simple answer is, it would do us no good to have a goal that we're not ready to suffer for. That's like a graduated student who sits around all day doing nothing but eating, sleeping, watching movies, and playing video games, dreaming about someday he will find the perfect job. Oh, don't be that guy. 
Because even if he had the requirement, if he isn't willing to pay the price, he won't get it. The opposite of success, it's not failure, it is quitting. And the cost of quitting is much more higher than the one of success. The cost of quitting is living a life full of regrets. Because as we all know in life, we don't regret things we have done, but we regret things we haven't done. It's easy to talk about how hard our lives are. It's easy to talk about how unfair life is and how we got the short end of the stick. But really, does this talking really mean something to anyone? When we judge ourselves as and our situation as worse as someone else's, we're ignorantly and incorrectly saying, you've got it easy. You're not like me. Success should come easy to you because you haven't had to deal with what I've gone through. The world owes you nothing. Life isn't mean to be fair. And the, however, the world is giving you everything to be successful. The truth is, you have everything to succeed. All you gotta do is believe it in your bones and you will feel an enormous weight of responsibility to yourself and the world. You've been put in a perfect posi position to succeed and you've, you've got everything to succeed. So, the world is your oyster. Your natural state is to thrive. All you're gonna do is show up. The problem with fear and dread is that it holds people back from taking on big challenges. So, what, we, what you will find, no matter how big or small the challenge, is that you will adapt to it. So, are you down for the challenge? Thank you. Thank you so much, Simon. Uh, well, uh, you are from this university? University of Law. Okay, well, again, welcome all the students from the University of Law. Um, do you think that success has a specific age? Specific age? No. Everyone can succeed no matter how, uh, no matter how, how old it is. I mean, even old people, I mean, now, let's take an example. Old people when, uh, they, 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 they don't have an education, or when they want, when they want to learn, they achieve it. They, are, they learn and they, and, they, and they have their goals. Okay, and you justify this when you said they, the opposite of failure is not, uh, success is not failure, but quitting. quitting. That's true, and I agree with you. Thanks. No comments? Oh. All right, I'll just go back and then work on what my colleague had just said. Success does not have any age. Yep, it does not have a specific age, yes. right? Okay, and now what is, uh, I mean, of course, success is a long-term planning. So when do you think it should start? When do you think we should start planning for a successful period or for a successful um, objective? When is the high time when somebody should be thinking about it. When he had when he had the idea to succeed, when he dreamed about succeed, when he when he wants to achieve something. I mean he could be eighty and in in, in someday he wants to, to have something. So he should start from that moment Thank to you. prepare for it. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you, Hesna. Uh, I hope uh, Youssef is here so that we can hear the boy's <laughs> voice. <laughs> Youssef. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are fine. Well, my name is Youssef Shinkher. I'm from the High School of Technology, Marketing and Economy Department. And I'm here today to deliver my speech about success. Well, uh, as, I, as we can notice, everyone talks about success. But what about failure? What about loss? Every day, 
in everywhere. We see a lot of successful persons, actors, businessmen and women, scientists, how rich they are, what kinds of cars they have. But we never ask ourselves, how do they reach success? Once, a small boy from a poor American family who wants to join his, uh, who loves basketball, and he wants to join and play for his school's team. But after the test, he failed. And the coach told him that he will not be able to play this game one day. He went home, and after hours and days of crying, the poor boy set himself free from the prison of pessimism. And he believed in his dreams, and he started training every day, at least three hours. Next season, he repeated the same test, but this time, he hadn't got the same result. The kid became the best basketball player in his team. He didn't stop. He continued ameliorating his performances and skills. And after university, he joined the official team of Chicago, Bull, of Chicago City, which is Chicago Bulls. And after several games and matches, he became the wild card of the team. And because of him, they won hundreds and hundreds of games. In his career, he had got a lot of enemies. They tried to stop him. They threatened him. They killed his father. For this, he became, they killed his father. But he never thought to, to surrender or to stop. For this, he became the legend. He became the best basketball player ever lived. He became the famous Michael Jordan. He said, in my career, I have missed more than 10,000 shots. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the winning shot. The, uh, I've, tr I've been trusted to take the game winning shot, and I've missed. I've failed over and over and over again. And this is why I succeed. Failure is a road sign that telling you it's not the right way. Failure is the beginning of success. To achieve your purposes and to reach wherever you want. You just need to be self-confident and believe in your dreams. Work hard and always make a plan because without it, you'll be lost. Ask for help if it's necessary, but it's better if you, will, if you did it alone. Uh, a wise man once said to his friend, you see this butterfly in its cage? I can free it, I can set her free from its prison, but it will be weak and it will die after days. But if it's, if it's, a, if it's a, Herself, uh, herself free, she will be strong, and she will live, and she will live for months and months. Therefore, we must keep trying. We must keep trying once, and twice, and thrice, and always remember, success has a price. Thank you. speech and I am speechless okay so uh, um, well it seemed to me
me that I was um, watching a movie or something, okay? So I really appreciated everything you said uh, about failure, okay, to achieve success. So the, the other way around really functions better than going directly to explaining what will be success. Okay, and that's true. I mean, in life, we take the, uh, I would say, the um, bad side of life in order to get to the right side of life. And that's what you did today, and thank you so much for that. Now, have you ever been or felt that you had failed in life? A lot of times. <laughs> yeah, like give us an example uh, that you consider as a failure. Yeah. Well, uh, in last year, uh, I wanted to get a nice uh, mark in in my uh, baccalaureate, but uh, I didn't. I have just failed because of a lot of a lot of uh, problems and conditions. I would like to thank you for this really yes. wonderful presentation. And I mean it, I mean it. Uh, see Yusuf, uh, I think that you have really, really chosen the other way to present it. And you made it clear, you made your idea clear. I mean, you, you really drove your idea through us in a very, very, very clear way. Now, I also like the idea of drawing attention to the fact that to succeed, you not only have to dream, but you also have to learn from your mistakes. And failure is one way, it's the highway to success. That's important. Now, I have one thing to tell you. Um, it would have been great, it's not a question. It would have been really better if you really got rid of that big, those big shit you have on your hands, right? So next yes. time, try to do without them. Yes, I have that a problem. I haven't taken much time to prepare for my speech. All right, I understand that, but this is just uh, a tip for... It's not more than two hours. All right, thank you. You're welcome. I want, to <laughs> I want just to add something, teacher. Uh, Thomas Edison, when he was trying to invent the lamp, uh, he said, I was trying to find, uh, I was trying to, to discover electricity. I have failed uh, more than uh, 100, I have failed 100, 100 times. But uh, I didn't uh, name it failure. Uh, yes, I have discovered uh, 100 uh, ways, uh, which is not correct. Yes, yes, yes. thank you, yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, we're all good. Uh, you, sir? Uh, I'm just a bit surprised because I, I hear students, uh, I don't know, find an excuse that it's just the la yesterday, yeah. two days ago, I don't know why. Because this has been, I think, uh, posted before, beforehand. So even if, you, even if you just prepared it yesterday, don't say it. Say it to the uh, members of the jury. It's uh, <laughs> you should you should uh, you should know you should know that. Our last contestant is Asma uh, uh, Arzas. Asma Arzas. Huh? Arzas. Arzas Asma. The floor is yours. of success and I wanted to establish how hard it is to be successful or maybe get to uh, get whatever it is that you want to do but I found out that people did that for me so I'm going to go the other one around and just say that I don't think that success, success has to be that hard or tiring or I don't think that success, can I take a minute to breathe please? Okay, thank you. So yeah, as I was saying, I didn't want to hear people talking about success as suffering 
We're calling it suffering because really, that's not it. And although I don't know much about success, really, I'm in my 20s, what am I supposed to know? Um, I'm a failure, I failed a lot, I constantly fail, it does not bother me. I don't consider myself to be a big lo a loser, but I also don't consider myself to be successful. So I'm skipping the part where I'm going to tell you what to do or what things you should do in order to be successful. What I'm going to stick to is the par particularity of the concepts of success. You see, success is a very, very uh, particular, okay, particular concept. People define it according to their cultural, uh, environmental background. And I guess that's a great thing. So each one of us has their own ambitions, own desires, and um, I don't know, things they want to do. And when one asks what they want to do with their, li with their lives, when one asks what they want to make out of their lives, out of their existence on this planet, they define their lives, they, their back, but they're also defining their ver version of success. And there's not one standard version of success. Any version goes. Anyone has a version, that version goes. You cannot say my version is correct or your version is correct. <coughs> You can also, you can only say that your version is nice, I respect it. I respect my version too. And I hope you do a great work. So I'm not gonna talk much here. I haven't much to say. I just wanna say that um, success is gonna be a nice thing. I've never tried it really. Um, failure is not the end of the world. It's not final, really not. And um, passion. Passion is a great thing. Passion drives the best of us to success. It grafts the diamond inside of each one of us. But diamonds, they require a set of conditions in order to become what they are. That applies exactly to people. They require a set of conditions that they can set themselves, they can respect, they can modify, they can skip, or they can go on or backward. But they can do themselves. Nobody telling them what to do or how to do it. And that is exactly what, ex what success is. It is the path, the journey, and the destination, both the engine and the fuel, the crafted and the craftsman. So um, I'm going to conclude this. Um, uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> So much. What well, conclusion? <laughs> okay. Uh, as my um, well, it was a nice performance, right? And uh, I feel like you're spontaneous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's not that you don't care about success, and they say I'm still young. It's not high time maybe to think seriously. I can justify myself to you. Okay. My question is coming. Um, okay. So let me finish first. I agree with you totally when you say that there is no magic portion for success. Okay. But we have to take uh, the lead ourselves. Yeah. yeah. I'll let just to tell me personally, yeah. how do you conceive success in the future? How do you see yourself in 10 years' time? Honestly, I just want to get a stable job, to travel, see the world, get a car, get a, a nice... Um, a husband, I don't want to have kids. Um, I want to have a library and I want to have a big TV. And I don't want to go out late. I just want to have, uh, I just want to have chocolate next to my bed. This is what I want. This is what I want to do with my life, and this is my version of success. My father, well, my father wants to be wants me to be a scientist. I hate science. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, oh, okay. Um, so you, you choose the simple things of life, and that's a success for you. Yes. No challenge. Well, there is challenge. Of course there is challenge. I wake up every day, I struggle with sleeping, I go to school, I try my best at school, and I, I, I practically am a, I'm a decent human being. So, as you know, decent human beings go, go through decent situations in which they have to struggle. So, there is the struggle. But I go for the simple things in life. Thank you. Um, I need to have a seat. Thank you.
Thank you, Asma, for your modest definition of success. I, I just want to tell you, um, I just want to ask you a question. Could you please tell me what is the difference between success and pleasure? Well, I could tell you that success goes with satisfaction. While it's pleasure, well, pleasure is and it's, it's attainable, and then it may go. But success, no, success is sticks to you, and it defines you, and it makes you uh, recognizable among people. Pleasure, pleasure is something you do for yourself. Success is something you do for yourself, but it applies your own um, environment. So I, I guess this is a difference. Okay, this is what I was <laughs> expecting to hear from you, because you wouldn't really. Do you think you would really convince your audience of what? success is? Because you've been talking more about pleasure. I didn't want to convince them what success was okay. because my friends, my fellow friends did that before. That's okay, but I thank you for your really stream of talking. Pleasure and desire. Yeah. Yeah. She, All right. she, thank you so much. She mentioned chocolate. That's yeah, a yeah. desire. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. Thanks. <laughs>
and I'd like to congratulate the winners who will be representing what is made university. And uh, next uh, Saturday, inshallah, next Saturday, there will be public speaking national competition. So I uh, hope to uh, wish you the best of luck. And thank you, everybody.